Hello, and this is Jeremy over here. I would like to share with you on the TDMA Trade Think or Swim platform, right? So this is how it looks like on the platform. You have uh, to understand how it really work by looking at how you navigate through this platform, right? So uh, as you are looking through buying and selling of stock, you need to understand how the platform works, right? So that you can uh, smoothly buy and sell uh, whichever and make money, right? So first of all, when we look at the Think or Swim platform itself over here, uh, what we can see is that on the top left-hand corner, right, uh, this is simulated trading. Of course, you also, when you open an account with TDME Trade, uh, you can always uh, switch it to live trading by exiting this platform and logging it in again. So uh, this navigation is using the simulated trading account, right? And uh, therefore, uh, you can see simulated, you are connected, there's delayed data, uh, the timing and account right so account uh, yours could be on uh, total all accounts uh, always change this to margin so that you are able to practice uh, the trading over here right if you use all account uh, you won't be able to see all your trades right so always change to margin right and then uh, you'll be able to see uh, the the account uh, id itself as well as uh, the information Right. So over here, you can see on the left hand panel over here, this is your navigation panel where you can see your account info, live news, you can see your trader TV, you can see your watch list, you can see your charts over here. Right. So uh, this is a very useful uh, left hand panel over here. And uh, let's go on by looking at one by one. What is it about? This is an account info. Right. And this is the option buying power, which if you are doing options, this is important. But if you are doing stock, this is not important. Yeah, there's Forex buying power. We are not going to go through Forex. What is important is the net liquidation and day trades as well as the cash and sweep vehicle. Right. Li net liquidation and day trades, meaning that if you sell everything away, when you close all your trades, this is what left over. Right. Because over here, I have uh, quite a bit of uh, stocks and options over here so if i were to liquidate all of them my uh, net liquidation will be 91,743 right but then there is also cash and sweep vehicle which is the saving account that you have the cash account that is ready to be deployed at any point of time right so you just have to take note that uh, if you are just doing stock right both of them should be around the same right and uh, just take, take note that whatever that you have to buy stock it's at this amount over here the cash and sweep vehicle uh, that matters uh, uh, the left amount of money that you can continue to buy the stock if not uh, take a look at the net liquidation to understand uh, at the end of the day uh, are you making money or not right so if if this day if this case if you start off with a hundred thousand dollars then I will have a net loss of about eight thousand over dollars over here, right? So you can just take a look at the account info, right? Uh, live news is important. Next one, you can see the live news. This is the place where you can see all the different news uh, with regarding to uh, the market itself. Of course, this is general news because you have not entered any symbol, right? Symbol meaning ticket, tickle symbol of companies. Say for example, uh, Apple Incorporation. The tickle symbol is A A P L, right? So you can always click the A P L and it will tell you the data of uh, the news of um, Apple itself over here in the market price, right? So this is uh, the place to look at the news. Uh, Trevor TV, I don't really look at it, right? CNBC, you can uh, practice and, and try out yourself, but I don't really use it. I normally will delete the gadget because I don't need to use it, right? And over here, this is the watch list. You can always create your watch list. You can have your own personal watch list, right? And then you just need to add uh, a name for it like say x or abc watch list huh? whichever your, your, some people put their name right um say for example jeremy uh, super watch list yeah, super watch list over here yeah so you can put it in then you can put in the stock like aapl the symbol right if you are looking at tesla tsla if you are looking at baba baba and or you are looking at Pfizer, right? PFE, right? So you can always look at it, the description, the last price and the net change of the market price over here, right? You can always add, remove, import if you have a list over there and you can move it up or down up to you, to your liking, right? So can, you can always do that and then save and there you go, right? So you have your 
uh, watch list over here created for you yourself okay and then you also have your quick chart over here if you have it if, if you do not have it it's fine as well right to just take a look at the the current price which is uh, say for example i'm looking at apple apl right then you'll see the market price of apl over here right so if you want to add any other things or delete things right deleting is quite straightforward on the this hamburger show actions menu button here you can always detach switch or delete gadget if you don't need it right but then if you want to add something there's always the plus button at the bottom left hand corner add gadget right and then you can see what kind of gadgets that you need okay so i will not be going through everything you can have fun yourself uh, what i like to do is to add a more watch list which is here or add a quick chart so that i can see uh, what is going on with some of the companies that i'm looking at yeah uh, in the settings itself this is the place where you can move uh, your your panels up and down here right so if you prefer your live news at the bottom uh, this then it will change by itself so uh, I, I prefer to look at the live news as the first thing to look at watch list and then add a quick chart on the on the left side panel over here right so this is the left side panel this uh, uh, left side panel over here in terms of navigation and on the right side you can see that you have your monitor tab your trade tab your analyze scan watch list charts tools and help over here so mainly i like to look at is monitor trade as well as chart for start for a start right for over here to understand how it works right so monitor tab is the place where you can look at all your activities and positions like mine i have a lot of different positions i have over here a bit stocks or options right and you can actually look at what you have like this is a call option you got a negative 100 stock which is you are short i'm shorting the market right making thirteen thousand over here i have cboe right uh, losing 70 dollars here and so and so forth right so uh, i have uh, many many different tickle symbols uh, to actually uh, they are all uh, live positions over here right so you have your working order where it's on the uh, working meaning that you you open the contract or you open the stock and uh, nobody feel with you right so because why i was uh, looking for two two dollars 61 cents however the market is uh, uh, only giving me 0 0.76 so this will never happen right because the buyer and seller just can't ne negotiate right the price over here and uh, later i'll share with you more about how we look at this working order right field order cancelled order as well as rolling strategy right so all these things are available for you to take a look around under activity and position Next will be the account statement. This is the place where like your bank account, you can go and take a look at all the different positions you have. So it takes some time to load because uh, there are many positions maybe, or, or probably because it's only one day back, uh, you'll be able to see uh, all your information. So like your bank statement, you can also uh, put in uh, the number of days, say for example, 90 days, right? So 90 days, do I have anything? No, I have nothing, right? Or maybe I can put like, uh, oh, I have many things over here right you can see it takes some time to load and uh this is the cash statement whatever goes in and out you can see here i can i sold uh, put call uh, book put and so and so forth over here and this is the cash i receive and uh, if you are buying stock right then you'll be uh, buying stock itself right so all these are uh, our options later uh, if i can show you on stock itself uh, i will give you a heads up over here right so now uh, currently they are all options right uh, forex i'm not touching that your order history what you have done uh, buy and sell your trade history your equity over here these are all the total equity positions that i, I hold over here okay and uh, option positions that are hold over here right what is your total pnl what is the forex um, which i don't have and account summary okay so this is what it's uh, uh in my portfolio okay uh, i don't really use a fx report and strategy roller right so mainly is this activity positions and account statement right next will be your trade tab right so if you have no positions this is what will you look at right so you just need to do is to add the position aapl and here you go right so you can now look at this top area the underlying and this is the place where you're going to buy and sell your stock right so um how do i buy and sell stock quite straightforward right this is the last price this is the net price over here and this is the bid if you hover on it this is a sell button here right so if you want to sell your stock it's under the bid huh? sell stock 
if it's ask, then you buy stock, right? So uh, very straightforward. When you want to buy something, when you go to uh, IT fair, when you go to a supermarket, when you want to buy, say fruits, you want to buy an apple, you ask how much is the uh, this cost of this apple, right? So you're asking for the price. So ask meaning that you want to buy something. So you buy and then bid is the opposite, which is sell, right? So this is the place where I want to buy and sell my stock, right? So all you need to do is to click on it, right? And you'll be seeing that uh, you are buying the stock, right? Buy one stock, right? You can buy more. Of course, you can buy 10 stock if you want to, 100 stock up to you, right? Apple stock. And therefore, what is the market price? Uh, this is a mid price, means the mid price nego negotiated between the buyer and seller. Or this is the natural price, right? Natural price where uh, you are willing to pay more to get the stock, right? Limited to uh, the day itself. So you can always put a market price or limit price, uh, market price, uh, which is which, whichever market price they give you. Or we set to limit because you want to say that okay i'm going to lock in this price over here and change it to day meaning that on the day itself you you want to enter or you want to go it good to cancel right gtc stands for good to cancel meaning that you are actually uh waiting for the uh, good price to enter so say for example i i want to say that, mm, maybe people can go up go down to one two zero for example huh? So I will just put it to 120 as long as it reaches to 120, then the order will be filled and I'll buy Apple price at 120, right? So this is a uh, good to cancel, right? And then on the best exchange uh, on, on uh, the uh, in the US over here, right? So if you are ready, you can buy, right? You can confirm and send, and then you can buy the stock, right? Buy 10 uh, Apple stock over here, and then, oh, zero, see, zero, right? So for US, uh, for think or swing platform itself, now they are not even charging any uh, commission or, or a platform fee, right? To to charge you for any brokerage fee here, so it's it's free, you know, to do uh, the, this uh, buy and sell, right? And therefore, when I buy this stock, it's it's a thousand two hundred cash movement. So you're going to exchange your cash uh, for the stock. So once you are happy, right, you can actually set, okay. So once you have sent already, you can go back to the monitor tab. It's under the working order. You see that, right? Buying 10 stock at $120, right? And, and therefore, the market price is still 139 Until it reaches to 120 it will still be working, yeah? So uh, it depends whether do you want to buy now at 139.96 or you will prefer the price to drop to 120 before you buy the stock. Right, so that is as straightforward as buying. Right, so if you want to sell it, it's quite, uh, it's over here. Right, you must have stock first before you sell. So say for example, uh, Kimberly, right, uh, Kimberly Clark uh, Corporation (KMB). Right, if I want to sell my stock, what I need to do is right click on that position, create closing order, and sell it away. Right, sell one hundred stock, and there you go. Right, that I can go to the middle price again. Right, sell one hundred of my stock over here at 124.58 right limit to today itself or i can change the good to cancel and confirm and send i'm selling my stock away right i'm selling my stock away right so this is where on the uh position here right this is where i want to sell my stock right so uh, what i have shared with you is that how you buy the stock and how you can sell the stock away on think or swim platform over here all right so this is where um, let's continue to the next part over here, buying and selling, right? And uh, the size, uh, the volume, right? Uh, it's good to have a, a good volume, more than 100,000 would be good, right? And this is the opening price for today. What is the highest price and the lowest price, right? So uh, these are important if you are looking at buying and selling buy low, sell high perspective over here right based on the day itself okay so this is uh the navigation for trade tab right so you don't need to look at the rest because if you are doing stock you'll be looking at forex futures active trader or pair traders not uh not useful right uh if you are doing options then you have your options chain over here right so uh, today we are all talking about stocks so we are not going to go through on the options chain over here okay uh, next will be analyze right so if you want to analyze your trade over here you can always add simulated trade uh, and enter in apple aapl again and then you can buy your stock here 
uh, and analyze that if I buy one stock, uh, what will be what will be look like in terms of the risk profile, right? So risk profile is quite straightforward. That as long as the market price go up, you make money. If the price come down, you lose money, right? So uh, stock is quite straightforward. If you are looking at buying and selling, uh, and when you close the position, uh, how much you are losing or making, right? It's based on this uh, risk profile chart. Some people call it PNL chart or break even chart over here, right? So uh, that there, there's nothing much you can use because you are doing stock. Nothing on the probability analysis to share. Uh, you might take a look at the economic data for uh, your own uh, learning purposes, right? Okay. Right, and uh, think back is basically uh, using the uh, historical data that you can try out some strategy over here, and uh, we will not be going through uh, this thing back. Right, uh, scanning. If you want to scan for uh, stocks over here, you can go ahead and scan. So you need to understand how uh, to use it, right? Based on on what kind of setup, right? So uh, you need to search uh, the the uh, what you call that different kinds of. Um, conditions over here right to, to understand what to add in or not to add in over here right so we will not be going through this because uh, we already have some watch list to use uh, using the bull bear vector already okay uh, market watch this is the place where you can check out some alerts that you have set uh, some codes alerts you want to visualize on the different um, uh, companies around the whole of us is all here Right, you can see this is whole of US, right? Or you want to look at the Dow Jones, Nasdaq, S and P five hundred. Uh, this is what you have over here in terms of market cap, right? So quite nice, right? This chart, yeah. You got your healthcare, you got your info tech, you got financials. These are all the different sectors that you can look at, yeah. Okay, uh, the rest are not very important. Mm, financing rate, no. Uh, calendar, you might be interested in calendar because you can check out the earnings and dividend of the stock that you are having, right? So as a if the company is uh, is declaring the dividend, you are be you will be able to receive that dividend. Just note that uh, for dividend itself, there is a thirty percent tax, right? Uh, based on the U.S. stock, right? So uh, whatever citizen you are around the world, uh, is following the U.S. regulation, you are still uh paying the 30% tax and you'll be receiving back the 70% of the dividend all right then uh we'll we'll go on to the charts right and this is the part that we'll focus on very soon i'll return back to here uh tools uh you want to take a look at the videos or thing log you can just go ahead and see what you like uh based on the company itself let's say for example apple aapl um it's not loading over here it might look on your site so um, not very useful i don't really use this right yeah you see it takes, takes some time to to load over here so if you have time you can always look at those videos uh, on the on on think of stream which i i don't really uh use it right over here and lastly help nothing much over here okay so uh, this is where you can see this panel over here how you navigate through the panel itself right so uh, we'll be going through the chart very soon Right. I, I'll go through the rest of it first before I go back to the chart. Right. So you look at the top right hand corner, there's messages. This is a message from Think or Swim. Uh, whichever, if you buy and sell stock, it'll be on the message center or anything that the platform is trying to communicate with you. Right. And also the support chart here. This is the place where uh, you can ask uh, for help right, from Think or Swim. Right. So if you have any issues, uh, with regards to your trade, you can always ask them over here and wait for their reply. Uh, just be patient. Sometimes they take some time to reply over here. Right. So that is the support from Think or Swim platform. Right. Uh, chat rooms. If you are interested to talk to people on the platform itself, I don't really use this function. Right. Uh, setup. Uh, this is important, especially on the application settings. This is the place where you can uh, do your setup correctly right your account your orders your position right active system right startup look and feel you want to change whether it's light dark or old school tos up to you chinese dark light all depends on uh your your preference yeah high contrast you want the font size to be larger medium or up to you right on the look and feel okay uh the rest you don't really need to 
touch because they are all the default things that are already there for you right so you can check it out yourself a uh, notification here is the place where uh, you are able to receive notification to your email or to your phone um, but for the phone itself is only for us citizens so if you are a us citizen yes you will receive the sms but if you are not a US citizen, you don't have a US number, then you can only use the email, right? So all you need to do is add the email, right? And get the confirmation in your email and you'll be able to uh, receive the notification on system login, uh, alert is triggered, order fields, TOS announcement, ring strategy events or chat messages, yeah? So all up to you, customized to your own preference. Okay, and then we next will be the order default, right? So for stocks, you can always choose. Maybe you want to buy in hundreds, two hundreds, or thousand, up to you. Or the default quantity can also be the same, right? All depends on your preference, right? And uh, the rest, uh, it's just leave it as default, right? For stocks, right? Of course, there are other instruments like options, futures, options, uh, future options, and forex. Um, we are not going to focus on that, right? Uh, hot keys if you are looking at customizing those keys yes they are all here and profile right so you can just put your name up to you of how you want to call yourself and how the platform communicate with you based on your nickname yeah